Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to create customer master in S4HANA. In my previous video, I presented how to create a vendor master using a business partner concept in S4HANA. So it is very similar to create a customer as well. We use the same transaction BP. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, please watch it. So the concept is same. To represent a customer, we create a business partner in ECC. We created uh, customers directly using different transaction XD01. Now, if you go to XD01 in S4HANA, it will give you a warning message and it will say XD01 is obsolete. Right? So you have to you have no other option, you have to use BP to create your customers. Here also your customer can be a vendor or can be any other partner in your business right so no need to create different calls to represent those kind of uh, companies or a group you create a business partner and then you create a uh, assign and you extend it to a customer and to your finance transaction side and to your vendor if the customer is act as a vendor too so the transaction code is bp right. let me go to transaction right um, so I create organization data and here I will select the grouping external number assignment you can select the internal or external right if external we have to provide the customer right Let's say two or something and you have to select your BP raw it's well, zero 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 zero. This one, okay. So select it here. You already entered. Is not saving, right? Okay. So select create. Now you have to select your uh, title of your business partner company and give a name any name you want and search them this is just to find your customer easily later right now you have to give a street number and sorry a street name and house number postal code and a city and a country so all the other fields if you know you can fill but those are not mandatory right i'm not going to explain each and every field language is a mandatory field you have to put en and if you expand here there are some other set of data as well as an example transportation so you can do right so to fill in this general data go down and you can fill those uh, address related details as well communication related mobile phone direct phone fax email anything so after that best company code data right because you are creating this bp to uh, fy customer role you have to extend this to company code so I choose my company code and then you have to give a reconciliation number if you don't know what the reconciliation number check with your FI consultant, right? Um, you know, the okay, I will explain a bit, right? The customers will send uh, incoming payment, right? You will create invoices to customers, so all these are incorporated to one reconciliation account. At the end of the month, you are, you are doing bank reconciliation with your banks, right? So, those reconciliation accounts are very important. Sort key and the other fields are not mandatory, but if you know can give okay customer payment transaction you can see the payment transaction and payment methods if you know okay right and that's it from here now you have to select another all FLC FLCU01 FLCU01. Yeah, 
this one now we have to select save earlier we select create right now we have to select save and it will give a message and it says your business partner is created but still you can't place sales orders because we haven't uh, extend this to a bp role customer right now we are going to do it so go to sales and distribution here and enter the sales organization distribution channel and division press enter now you can fill the order data right and let's see here i think the currency is mandatory you have to put that one and customer pricing procedure you can select and go to shipping right. delivery plan shipping condition so maximum partial deliveries these things you can fill according to your business okay right in term let me fill and you can queue in term location the payment term right that's tax specifications also if you know you can and uh, select okay account assignment category group also important right so you can uh, segregate your revenue whether it's a domestic fund the foreign revenue or something like that right so now we have filled mandatory by data right but as i mentioned there are a lot of other views, a lot of other fees. Just go through this slowly, right? You know, if you want to know about one or this field, right, you have to press F1 and it will give a long description. You can read this, right? So that's it. Now I'm going to save my document and it will say, right, the changes have been saved, right? Okay. Now my customer is there, my customer is saved, okay? So if you want to view my customer, I go to be cast and I put the customer number or even if you know the search term, you can search from this one as well, right? Now you can see my customer is available in the list. Okay, that's it guys. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment in the below, right? I will reply as soon as possible.